Asheville, North Carolina, Blue Ridge Mountains. I'm talking about hippies, craft beer, our people. We're here shopping for the wellness retreat. We love traveling all around and collect incredible handmade things for all of our projects. And Asheville has got an incredible music and art scene, which speaking of arts, we had to stop by Hot Stuff Tattoo, see our boy Danny Reed. Get a little bit of fresh work done from Danny. Super excited about that. Today we're gonna meet Billy Zansky of Skinny Beef Strong. I met Billy about a year ago. Incredible guy, incredible musician. He's been a sound practitioner for 18 years. He's a pro. All things with these sorts of instruments, things that we're looking for for the wellness retreat. So I'm talking about hand pans, Congo drums, gym bays, crystal bowls. He's got all sorts of incredible things, everything really high quality, lots of handmade instruments. This is gonna fit in perfectly into the wellness retreat. I think you guys are gonna love seeing these instruments there. So let's go inside and see what he's got. I think we're gonna be able to find some great things for the wellness retreat. Let's go. Billy. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Super excited to be here. Can I tell you a little bit about the I'd retreat? I'd love to hear about okay. it. Okay. So uh, it's our wellness retreat, Music Row, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, we've got, it's a quintessential Music Row home. The only thing that's different about this one is it's practically falling to the ground right now. We're going to spend a million dollars renovating wow. it. Cold plunge, wow. sauna, hot tub. We're building a circular room um, and we're working with some, some musicians to have a curated hour-long music piece. It's immersive art uh, experience that we're super excited about. But we need uh, we need some instruments, we need some items. The whole the whole vibe, uh, I guess the color palette I'd start with is all very calm, lots of natural materials, sure. um, very anti-technology, no TVs. Okay. We're encouraging people to disconnect, connect with themselves, connect with other people. Yeah. And um, so what what better than, than some of the instruments that you have? So I want to chat with you and, and talk about djembes and hand sure. pans and gongs sure. and, and hear from you about what's special about all these instruments. Yeah. So with the relaxing thing, lower frequencies really speak to our nervous system. Yeah. You know, so we commonly are kind of, you know, in a tense state. And so to relax that, you want to hear things that are, are calming and, and wash, washing. So drone sounds. I just tapped this and it's just singing. It, it doesn't even stop. So when we start to get this momentum, we can then mix it with some other sounds that are gonna be in a harmonic. Wow. Yeah. So this would be a gong mixed with a crystal bowl. Yeah. And so we start to look at what frequency is the gong creating and can it work with a certain bowl? Yeah. So that's like why I have all the different bowls because then I have different gongs. Now a lot of my gongs work together. Oh, wow. So that then is a transition from that gong and then I'll mix in a different bowl with this gong That's incredible. Deep. I mean, you can almost feel that. Yep, low sound. And I've also learned through experience with the instruments is to simple, consistent. So with the sound just being um, steady. Mm -hmm. And so it isn't so much of a music performance. Mm -hmm. It can get there, especially when I add the hand pan and things. So there's moments where maybe I'll start doing musician type things. But sound healing and sound bath and working with gongs and crystal bowls is becoming incredibly popular because it's so effective and easy. So like you pick up some stuff, any person you might allow clients to even sometimes use the instruments or show them how. That's a, that's a next level thing. You might have a workshop where it's like, hey, come play the sounds or just lay down and listen to the sounds. Yeah. But like a flute is another beautiful, and this is a larger flute. It's a drone flute. So it has two flutes in one. And it is not the hardest instrument to play. You just have to cover those holes. Yeah, 
So it's, it's, it's a really easy thing. And then again, I could, I could do other bowls and things that are in tune with the flute. That's awesome. Like I have that little hanger right there. Yeah. And you can hang a gong on there. Um, so just something like that mm -hmm. for your gong, that would be great. And it kind of serves as like a piece of art. It's yes. like a focal point. It looks gorgeous. It's part of the design. And makes sound. And it Pan makes pans, sound. Um, I've got like four out there. Um, one from Switzerland. I got, um, this is from Greece. I got a couple that are made locally. And there's just so many makers now. And I filter through all these people. And then I play the ones that I get, make sure they're cool. Stainless steel is what the newer material is. Nitrided steel, the older style. Some people still buy those, but the stainless gives you this warmer, like, resonance. This is stainless? This is stainless. But there isn't a pan in here that's not stainless. Okay. And then with this one, you can always flip the pan over, and now you've got all these other notes. Plus, you got this port. The port is giving it more sound, you know? And if you get really pro, when it's on this stand, you start to learn where are those bottom notes. So you can actually hit them. So it's just, it's just a versatile, this is probably the most high-end pan I have. But out in the other room, I want you to tap around on the D minor. This is an A2, meaning second octave. So this is a lower note than most, most pans are a little higher pitched like a brighter sound but this is so like kind of like you know mysterious yeah and, for and sure it gives you yeah so different scales who who is uh who's the maker of this one it's called tiflis okay he's in greece okay. took me about nine months to receive this because he's just got this list okay so he's still hand making these yeah right? oh okay. yeah man yeah. no hand pans unless they're kind of crap Right. Are, are, they're made by hand. This is not actually a hand pan, but this is a beautiful instrument too. It's just you do hear a different a different sound when you use the mallets. David's got some sounds, some music. Like got it. The, got the skinny beats already. Yeah, man, we're jamming. <laughs> And it's funny because a friend of mine wanted me to rehome this bowl. Yeah. So you're getting like a discount on it, but like it's a deeper, larger crystal bowl, and this is gonna work with your gong. It's got a beautiful sound. Yeah. It's a G sharp. Does, how does it sound when you really get it opened up and roaring? That's about as much as you want to. Okay. rattling something in the room but um that's a, you know is your gong 24 inches it should mm -hmm. be that's yeah 24 inches yeah yeah um once you try to make it louder than that it's almost gonna um be the, the sound it, the, the people receiving the sound it's, it's, it's yeah it starts to get into that. All right, let's see what we got here.
Uh, that sounds good together. They do. Or, okay, tell me again, price point here. 525. 525, which is pretty much the same as this, yep. right? Okay, that's 525. All right. Um, and this is, is so tough. This is tougher than this. Someone would have to hit this with a stick. You could hit this with a stick, like they play this with a stick. Mm -hmm. So just, just like long term, this just pretty much lasts forever. You can throw it around, play it different ways. You it's feel the, you feel the same way about this one? Just about. Just about. Just about. The Hold wood, it. the wood, very much. Okay. Strong. It would take like a, a sharp object or a stick. Yeah. Just people won't have access to that, right? I mean, they won't think to start hitting. I it. mean, this isn't like a stick stabby vibe. Right. I mean, yeah, this is a, uh, a this hand is drum. A, this is a this is a chill and yeah. and be peaceful. Yeah. Don't don't stab our stuff with right. They sticks. should they should figure that out. Okay. Especially if you don't arm them with a stick. No, no, we don't. No, this is yeah. This this gong is the forty eight inch Chinese gong. Yep. Yep. It, get that kind of uh, whale, rubs whale. the whale sound. So this one has this harmonic sound. So that's why I've hand selected and it lives in my room. Yeah. Because I will use it in the sessions. And you know, I have limited space, so it's not on display as a front runner. Right. But the sound is incredible. And with the friction mallet, oh man, this one it talks. So it's just cool to hear the different sounds and if down the road. Is that the back side of it or the front side? It's the back side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can play the back side just like the front of it. it I, didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, even yeah. even with this even. shit. Yeah. And wow, check out your stand here, gosh. This is incredible. Yep. Super heavy. That thing weighs a ton. It's actually some kind of turbo jet from um there's an there's a manufacturer somewhere that makes turbo jet prop for airplanes yeah it looks like and a gear this guy got this from there and okay he made this like 10 years ago all right that is it's a nice gong that has an incredible sound, Good sound. to it i definitely yep. want to check out it's beautiful I don't know about you, but I had a good time. Yeah, man, I, so I appreciate it. I like playing. It. I like playing. It was play. I'll talk to uh, I'll talk to all the the labels in Nashville about our record deal. Sweet, because we're, we're gonna set it up. Yeah, everybody, everybody's gonna want more of that. Yeah. All right. So to recap, we're definitely doing these four items. Okay. So we've got Jim Bay, the hand stretched yep. by Billy yep. himself. This yep. is goat skin. Goat skin. And tell me one more time where the wood's from. It's from Ghana. Ghana, West Africa. West Africa. Same with this. And then we've got cow on yep, this, this head. Yep, this is cow skin. Yep. Yep. And this was... They call this dune dune. Dune dune? Dune dune. That's the wood? That, no, that's the drum. That's the drum? Yep. Yep. Okay. The wood's from Ghana. It's the same same country. Same wood. Okay. So these will combo together really well. And then we've also picked up our rain stick. And we're going to cross our fingers. Try to try to work with Billy, find a gong that works well for the space. Yeah. Thank you so no much, problem, man. man. I appreciate Thank it. You Thank you so much. Awesome. All right. Thank you guys.